Hi friends, I am Dr. Pradeep Patil, associate professor in the department for orthopedics at Dwar Patil University, Kolapo. Today we are talking regarding the glycol fractures. So there are a lot of controversy whether to treat the fractures operatively or conservatively. So today I am going to clear the concept. One year back, I have treated this patient, 30 year old male with a clavicle fracture, with scapula fracture and rib fracture. This is called as a floating shoulder. He was treated conservatively by me. <laughs> Recently, he visited me with the, this finding. He has a swelling in the, in the supraclavicular region, but his main complaint was he was unable to perform the upper limb movement, upper limb workout. He has obvious drooping of the shoulder. When I investigated him in the form of X-ray, so this was his x-ray finding which was showing non-union of the clavicle. His outcome would have been definitely better if I have fixed the fracture clavicle. We know all the clavicle fracture unite simply with cuff and collar. But union does not mean a good, surgical, good result. Symptomatic malunion and non-union are the main two issues of the conservative treatment. Malunited clavicle fracture changes the glunide orientation resulting in the scapular winging. And, and shortening of the clavicle leads to shortening of muscle resulting in the weakness that changes the shoulder kinematics. If you review the literature, you will find there is slowly declining change regarding the conservative line of treatment. In 1960, Nir et al. studied more than 2000 cases and presented the non-union rate is as low as 0.1%. And later, Rowe et al. seconded him by the non-union rate up to 0.8%. After this study, many decades, the, all the clavicle fractures were treated conservatively. Till in, in 1997, Hill et al. published a paper and showed that the non-operative treatment of the clavicle fracture in the middle third region does not give good result as traditionally thought. He found that non-union rate is up to 15% and more than 30 patient, 30 patient patient were having unsatisfactory result. Again, in a study of a meta-analysis of the cases collected from 1975 to 2005, it's a big study of non-operative intramedullary and plate fixation of the dis displaced middle third clavicle fracture, which has shown the non-union rate is about 15%. In, ra in random and control trial, again the same finding has been confirmed. In a landmark study done by Thompson, he reviewed 100 cases of a non-union that was after a conservative treatment of a middle third displaced clavicle fracture. He found that there is a strong association between shortening, complete displacement and comminution. So what are the indications for the surgery? If the displacement is more than 2 cm, if the shortening is more than 2 cm, if the fracture is open or impending compound fracture or if the patient is having floating shoulder, that means a fracture of the glenoid of the scapula and the clavicle and in cases of established symptomatic malunion as well as a non-union. So we have a, a very large variety of implants starting from K-wires, pins, screws, x picks has been studied extensively in the past. but the commonly used implants are anatomical plates, thick pelvic reconstruction plates and titanium nails. So multiple, there are multiple study in each group of the studies. In each modality there are certain advantages, there are certain disadvantages but the nailing is better in stable fracture and as it is a biological but the plates are much stable biomechanically and preferred in a very complex fracture. While considering intramuscular nailing, you should know the anatomy of the clavicle. The clavicle is S-shaped and it's three different parts is having three different types of military canal. So it's not like a straight bone. Usually the entry is taken one centimeter lateral to the middle end of the clavicle, which is drilled and gradually widened. 
and adequate size titanium elastic nail pass in the proximal fragment and under image intensifier and manually it is negotiated across the distal fragment which is confirmed under image intensifier sometimes you have to use mini open reduction or sometimes you have to towel clip for that clavicle plates can be done in two ways usually the superior plates are preferred because these are biomechanically stable and the approach is familiar to many of us but there are chances that the iatrogenic injury are much more common and hardware promise is much more common as compared to anterior approach in anterior flow theoretically you can use longer screws there is a less hardware prominence there is a less chance of iatrogenic injury but it is not biomechanically as stable as superior plates and also the plate obscures the fracture on the x-ray findings so usually done in a general anesthesia in supine position infiltration is given to minimize the bleeding skin incision is taken and deepened in the layer the platysma muscle is carefully dissected and separated and the supraclavicular nerves were preserved as far as possible uh, the fracture displacement fracture anatomy is identified the comminuted fragment are fixed with the moen fragment with the help of k wire and the fracture reduced and the fractures are realigned bigger fragments can be lagged very effectively with the help of a mini fragment screw sets or if the fragment is very small instead of removing all the soft tissues it is better to use suture to hold the fragment to major fragment and the plate is fixed with the screw after checking the its position whether it is placed accurately in both the views i prefer to use simple screws because all the patient are young patient and they are having good bone quality so while there are certain precaution should be taken while doing surgery so the classically the clavicle is divided into three zones three parts the green green part uh, amber part and red part so in in medial third it's a called as a red zone where the vessels are directly posterior so in such cases when you are drill, you are drilling from anterior to posterior you should be very careful in middle zone the usually the vessels are posterior and inferior and around 15 mm away from the clavicle so while drilling from superior to inferior you should be very carefully and it is safer in anterior in anterior clavicle plating so while drilling it is very important to have a feel of a distal cortex sometimes especially when you are using a locking screws you may if you are eccentric you may hit only one cortex in such cases the chances of injury are high and sometimes if there is a fracture extension you always try to feel the opposite cortex so i usually use stopper or adjust the drill bit so that it will drill only 18 mm and i usually protect the other cortex with the help of spike or perioseminator and in post operatively or while passing the screws the gross disparity between the screw can be adjusted post operatively if the fracture is fixed very well you can mobilize the patient as early as on the second day if if you have done a nailing or if it is unstable you can protect for about 3 weeks and gradually you can start mobilization after that usually all the patient resume full activity at the end of 6 week that is not possible in a conservative treatment so some of the example this is a 25 year year young doctor having a displaced clavicle fracture with comminution so he was usually the major fragment was reduced with the help of a uh, pointed bone holding clamps and it is lag and then the neutralization was done with the help of a neutralization plate i usually i as you can see the i have used the simple screws so this is his image of post operative x ray showing good alignment and this is his post operative x ray at the end of 2 months and this is his full function at the end of 2 months having full abduction full internal rotation full external rotation so as, as a surgery it has its own complications the main complication is the implant irritation or you can in a thin patient you can see the implant above the clavicle this can be minimized if you close the platysma very well usually uh, majority of the patient requires revision surgery for implant removal but the newer anatomical thin plates can be very flush to the bone so that that can be minimized there are certain scar issue you should be very cautious in patient having tendency of a keloid formation and sometimes you have neurovascular complication that can be very well prevented and sometimes you might get infection so to conclude in indicated patient the outcome of surgical fixation of the clavicle fracture is always better than a conservative treatment nailing is preferred in a simple fracture and anatomical plates are preferred in the complex fractures 
intraoperative complications are less as thought previously and can be prevented after due care thank you